Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to build some doors for these openings right there. Right on the back of the bus. You can see there's the exhaust, the front. Yeah. We're going to build some doors and get them on there. So let's get going. Okay, we're back out here. We're using 14 gauge steel. And I'm just using a six inch uh, Milwaukee, or uh, sorry, Makita grinder with a six inch zip disc on it. I've already marked these out, so we'll just get cutting. up all the sharp edges with a buffing wheel here on my 5 inch grinder. There you can see no sharp edges left on here. Right there, looks nice. So that's one side, I have another one to cut out. Okay, I've measured the door frame and I've cut a piece off already. We're just gonna go with 45 degree angles. You can see that one's cut like that there in the saw. So when we do the next one, In order to get the correct angle on the bottom, we have to turn this over half a turn. Work this down a little more so we can get closer to the actual size we need. And we need this one to be 17 and 3 eighths on the outside corners. Cut this one. Okay. 
see we have a 45 on each end. That'll be the inner door frame. It'll match up with this like that. And we'll cut the other two pieces and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the frame of the door that I made. You can see the <clears throat> corners are 45 degree on some of them because the door is not square or the way it fits on the bus. So that's the frame for now. So I will weld that up and I'll show you. Here's the door frame back on the door skin. See the corners are ground off nice. It's not welded to the skin yet. I added that center reinforcement there just to keep the door from doing a little bow or sagging in the middle there. So I'll weld the frame onto the door and we'll get back. You can see it's vice grip to the table. That's going to keep the door flat. I'm going to weld the frame onto it. So yeah, I'll just. This frame just gets tacked onto here. No need to fully weld it. I'll seal it later. So I will tack this on here. It's going to go on here, it's going to go on this side, just like this, so we'll cut a piece off. Beauty. 
welded the hinge on because I don't want any extra holes through the door going that way. And if I need to cut it off later at some point, I guess I could. It's a stainless hinge, so it should last for a long time. It's pretty rigid. And that's it. That's the door. Some latches in here in a minute. I'll go get the latch and the template and I will uh, show you how to do that. And here's the template I made. It just goes inside here. I, yes, I could just use this, but it overlaps on there. So this template just butts up against there. Center is marked. Just put her on there like that. Get the good old Sharpie. Okay, line there, there it is. There, let's get some stuff and cut that out and we'll look at that in a little bit. Okay, I got some tools back. We've got a hole saw here. Just something to get the area around the key. We'll drill this pilot hole here first. dead again. Be right back. There, new battery. Yeah, just that easy. I moved you guys over so you're not on all the sparks, but I'm just going to take the other zip disc and just cut across here. here so we can see the edge of this tube so we don't cut into it. Now we flip it over and we can use this guide now. We have the hole and we have the edge of the tubing where we need to be. where you we need to cut out for that handle to fit on here. Just finish cutting that out. There it 
this again. We'll go in there just like that. We'll trim her up a little bit. Drill some holes, put the gasket on. Yeah, make her. Here I have the door handles, holes all nicely cut out. We'll just set that in there. Mark these holes with the Sharpie. Move them out. Three sixteenth holes. Happen to um, start off a little crooked. If you can see the mark there, you can see what drill started. If you, do, you can just tip the drill a little bit and move it over to where it centers in the hole. Holes are drilled. Again, we'll just deburr these. close. I'll just put the nuts on here. These are just temporary bolts. Stainless steel with nylock nuts later on after the doors are painted and installed. There's a little foam seal around the handle so it doesn't really take a whole bunch of pressure to get these tightened. And you can see around the um, three quarter inch tubing right there. The hole for the latch comes through there as well. So these need to be longer than just right there. And we'll go put them on. We'll mount the hinges and see how everything goes. Well, that's going to do it for this part of the storage door fabrication. Be sure and come back for part two and I'll show you the doors are primed how to install them in the openings uh, so they are square and they don't rub anywhere. The door hinges, the door seals, uh, yeah, the door latch. Thanks for coming, we'll see you next time, bye.